social work practice is called the social planning model. So with us bringing Justin 
and them having a problem with their greenhouse, we try to correct, collaborate and start planning socially, trying to make this thing come together to help their community out, coming from our community. The first thing we did, we went to the Kids Our Kids camp. Uh, there we taught the importance of nutrition to the little kids. They're about five to seven years old. Uh, we taught them the importance of eating vegetables and your fruits all day, every day. Uh, we also made smoothies with them. Uh, they were made out of skim milk and uh, concentrated orange juice, so they liked it. Uh, I didn't really like it. I didn't really like it. It was all right. was phenomenal. It was great. I loved every last bit of it. I'm glad that we even have the corporate extension program going on and I'm really happy that Prairie View is offering it to the students as an internship. The accountability was very important. At the end of the day, it's, well, what could you have done more or what did you do and what could you have done differently and being able to say, well, I didn't do this, I could do this better. Resources, very important. Like I said, don't just I learned not to just stay in a box. You never know what you can get until you ask. <laughs> the worst you can get is a no, and then all you do is move on to the next person. Um, the impact of expressing gratitude is very important to just saying thank you goes a long way, even if it's just an email, going by each table or anything like that, because at the end of every event, we went to every family, every vendor, every, everybody and said thank you for coming, thank you for providing this, this and the other thing aspect that I, I got passionate about was the 4-H part of it. I know I said I didn't want to work with the kids, but talking to the kids at the camp and talking to, uh, well, reading the record books from the other kids from the other side of the fence, you see a big, big difference. And when you read those books and then you go back and talk to these other kids, you're like, man, they're missing out on so much. Yeah. And I know that y'all are doing what y'all can, but one of the things that I've seen is that they actually listen to me because I'm younger and I look more like them. So one of the things that I think that we could do as a group is get not just interns to come in, but people from Prairie View to actually help with these programs that y'all try to put on with the 4-H kids. Glad I decided to do an internship this summer. I was gonna wait like everybody else, but I jumped on it and now I'm just too hype about it. I love this program. Um, like everybody else, I want to thank Extension for y'all being so welcoming to me and helping me mold me into the young man I am today. Because honestly and truthfully, without y'all, I, I wouldn't be where I'm at right now. Like I said, y'all gave me so much opportunity for me to grow um, personally and professionally. So like I said, I, I really do thank y'all, especially Dr. Daniels, because like Dr. Daniels and Ms. Reed, Ms. Reed like my mama, Dr. Daniels like my dad. <laughs> like I say, they, they, they come in and they took me under their wing. Like I say, they didn't know me from none of the rest of the kids. They didn't have to pick me to do the things that I did. But they kind of picked me up and put me under their wing and said, come on, the one, we're going to get you where you need to be. Other than anybody have a question, Sonny?